So, you're thinking of moving to Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, and people have told you, you have to check out this place called Caligny Plaza. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna walk around the shops and the restaurants and the entertainment, and of course, go across the street to Caligny Beach, which is the most popular beach on Hilton Head Island. And of course, if you stay till the end, we're gonna drive around the uh, neighboring area and look at some real estate in North Forest Beach and South Forest Beach. So don't go anywhere, let's get started. Do you want to know everything there is to know about the South Carolina Low Country, whether it's Bluffton, Beaufort, Hilton Head Island, or Jasper County? Then subscribe below and tap that bell for notifications. So you'll be the first to know about the current market here in the South Carolina Low Country. My name is David Simcox, host of Low Country Lifestyles and a local realtor. I get calls and emails every day from people just like you and you and you and you looking to make their move here to the South Carolina Low Country and I absolutely love it. So whether you're making your move in three days or three months, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email or book a Zoom call all in the description below so I can help you find your Low Country Lifestyle. Now if you're thinking of moving to Hilton Head Island Everybody says you got to go check out Caligny Plaza and Caligny Beach. It is one of the most popular hangout destinations on Hilton Head Island, and it is by far the most popular beach on Hilton Head Island. So in today's video, I'm going to walk around, show you some of the sites, show you some of the shops, and hopefully you'll learn something. So I hope you enjoy the tour. Let's get started. All right, now I'm inside Carolina Tasting Room, and this place is awesome. So they've got wine they've got all these awesome adult smoothies over on this wall so if you want to stop in and get a cold beverage over on this side you've got the carolina wine smoothies so that sounds awesome if you need a cold beverage or a glass of wine at the end of the day definitely check this place out all right now i'm in coastal provisions company uh, this is a really really cool store not just because they have awesome clothes and awesome merchandise and all the yetis and all the hats and everything you'd want to take uh, on the beach with you. But these guys actually give a portion of all their proceeds back to save the sea turtles. And sea turtles are a really big deal here on Hilton Head. That's one of the reasons that they make people turn the lights off at a certain time. And when you drive around Hilton Head at night, it's very dark and they don't allow, allow a lot of outdoor lighting is because they wanna protect the sea turtles and they don't want them to get confused and go the opposite direction that they're supposed to be going instead of going into the ocean. So if you wanna help save the sea turtles also, stop in here to Coastal Provisions Company. All right, now I'm at the Big Bamboo, and this is the Big Bamboo Cafe. It's been around a long time. It's owned by a couple of local brothers, and they always have live music going on here. And one of the reasons for that is these brothers are super into music. They're musicians themselves. And so if you want a super cool place to come hang out, and if you want to hear all kinds of incredible local live music, there's going to be a rotation of really cool bands coming through the Big Bamboo Cafe on a regular basis. This is upstairs at Caligny Plaza, and it's a really great restaurant and bar to hang out at. All right, now I'm just outside of the Frosty Frog Cafe, and this is a classic in Caligny Plaza and on Hilton Head Island. People have been coming here for years upon years upon years. Actually, Caligny Plaza dates back to 1955. But this restaurant right here, people from all around the world have come here and love this place. All right, now I'm out in front of the Earl of Sandwich Pub. And this is an absolute classic in Hilton Head. It's been here for a long time. And if you wanna know what to order, my recommendation is get the Earl. It's a sandwich. I'm not gonna tell you what it's, what's on it, but just find out for yourself. All right, so this is an awesome store. This is Quiet Storm Surf Shop. And so if you want surf gear, surf clothing, or just super cool beach clothing, they've got the guys section over on this side and the ladies section over on this side. So ladies, if you need to get that, uh, that bikini or that swimsuit or that cute outfit to go out to dinner, or gentlemen, if you want something casual to wear out to dinner, uh, come in here to Quiet Storm and spoil yourself, get something nice. 
All right, now I'm in Piggly Wiggly on the island, and this store has been here forever. My wife's grandmother, who's 95 years old, actually actually used to own the first dry cleaner on the island back in like the 1950s, and it was in this same little plaza here, back when Hilton Head was all dirt roads. But this is where all the tourists and vacationers come to get their food and all their treats and their beer and their wine and everything they need to stock up their vacation rental homes. But Piggly Wiggly is definitely a classic on the island. All right, so just about half a block from Caligny is Sharky's Rentals. And you'll know if you ever visit Hilton Head that one of the biggest things to do around here is ride bicycles. And if you didn't bring your bicycle from New York, New Jersey, Ohio, Pennsylvania, California, or Switzerland, you're gonna have to rent a bike. And there's lots of uh, bike rental places around here, but this one is super convenient right next door to Caligny Plaza. All right, so I decided to stop and have lunch at this really great little sushi restaurant right next to Caligny Plaza called Nakoma. And so if you love sushi as much as I do and you're in the Caligny Plaza area, definitely check it out. Come by. All right, now I'm at the Frozen Moo. And what vacation destination would be complete without an ice cream shop? And these guys have actually 92 flavors. So something for everybody, for sure. I'm gonna take a break, cool off, eat some ice cream, and then we'll keep going. Mm. All right, so if you need a midday pick-me-up in the middle of a crazy beach day, you can come into Sweet Owls and get coffee or a treat. Uh, for me personally, it's always a uh, shot of espresso in the middle of the day. So I've got my shot of espresso and I decided to indulge and get a macaron. Awesome. And a little shot of espresso. Excuse me for talking with my mouth full, but definitely give this place a try. All right, now I'm outside of Fish Casual Seafood Restaurant really great place if you want some local fish. Also, uh, they've got some big screen TVs in there, so if you wanna watch the game or catch the happy hour, um, definitely a really cool spot to check out as well. All right, so just across the street from Caligny Plaza and just steps off the beach is Flathead Bar and Grill, and they do have different specials every day and a happy hour, so be sure and stop in and check these guys out as well. So directly across the street from Caligny Plaza, you've got this great little Greek restaurant and it's called It's Greek To Me. So if you love Greek food and you're in the area, definitely give these guys a try also. So they also have all kinds of music and entertainment available on a rotating basis. Here you can see Jevon or Jevon Daly. Uh, he's a local celebrity, he's got his own band, but he's doing a kid's storytelling hour here on Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday from 6.30 to 8.30, but there's always all kinds of entertainment rotating through here. All right, they also have this super cool pirate ship playground area. So while parents are out shopping or having an adult beverage or having some dinner, if somebody wants to hang out with the kiddos here on the pirate ship, definitely a great way to kill a little bit of time. All right, so there's also all these cool little pop-up stands. So whether you need an ice glass of lemonade or you forgot or lost your sunglasses on the beach or you wanna look super cool with a henna tattoo, lots of little shops and opportunities right here in Caligny Plaza. All right, now I'm just outside of Skillet's Cafe and these guys have been around for over 30 years. They have won uh, multiple awards and they're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right, now if you wanna know my secret item on this menu, you have to try the peanut butter pie. All right, that's my only word of advice to you. All right, now I'm directly across the street from Caligny Plaza and we've got the Hilton Head Beach Company. There's also an ice cream shop back here and some other little stores, but they've got everything you could possibly want for the beach right here from boogie boards to beach chairs to sweatshirts, t-shirts, memorabilia, sunscreen, you name it, they've got you covered. All right, so you cannot come down to Caligny Plaza without walking across the street to the beach. I mean, this is where it's at. This is where everything's happening. This is why people come to Caligny Plaza and why people come to Hilton Head Island. It's the beach. It's one of the most beautiful beaches in the United States. So if you're down here at Caligny Plaza, 
definitely walk across the street and check out the beautiful beach. Another awesome thing to do in the Caligny Plaza area is right across the street at Caligny Beach Park. They've got this super cool splash pad for the kiddos to play in. And when the heat gets hot, there's no better way to cool off than right here in this splash pad. All right, so another awesome thing to do right near Caligny Plaza is stop here at the Tiki Hut. And they have amazing drinks, they have great food, and the view is right here overlooking the ocean. Sometimes you'll see volleyball games going on out here, but they also have live music almost every day of the week. So the Tiki Hut is a must see and must do if you're gonna be in the Caligny Plaza area. All right, so I think this is a really thoughtful feature right here by Caligny Beach. They've got these complimentary beach wheelchairs. And if you need uh, access to these, you just go to Hilton Head Island sc.gov to let them know that you need to pick one up but definitely a must have if you've got somebody with a little bit of limited mobility or maybe an elderly family member all right so if you just need to take a load off for a little while in the midi in the middle of a cr crazy long beach day you can come up here and sit in these swings they're right by the beach overlooking the ocean right here by the changing stations and by the showers so really just a cool spot to chill out right by the beach all right, now that we have walked around the shops at Caligny Plaza and we've walked around out on the beach at Caligny Beach, let's jump in my car. Let's drive around North Forest Beach and South Forest Beach, which is right, right here near Caligny Plaza, so we can look at some houses and real estate like we always like to. All right, guys, thank you for staying till the end of this video. I hope you learned something about Caligny Plaza and Caligny Beach. I hope you'll come and visit and check it out for yourself. Uh, comment down below if I left out one of your favorite stores or shops or restaurants. Let me know where you like to go when you come to Hilton Head Island. And I hope you enjoy driving around North Forest Beach and South Forest Beach also. As always, if I can help you find your low country lifestyle, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email or book a Zoom call, all in the description below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know about the current market here in the South Carolina Low Country. As always, my name is David Simcox, host of Low Country Lifestyles and a local realtor. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, and I'll see you on the next video.